what you talk, when you start talking about this a second ago, but uh, if you want to you break down how you feel that the, uh, you know, your, your top offensive players are being maximized right now. Yeah, we're not maximizing really anybody on offense because we're not getting a lot of production out of anybody. So when you talk about maximize, I think when you've got some good backs, you've got to get those backs enough touches. And um, there's a fine line between being stubborn with the run and not being able to run the ball and how long you stick with it versus taking shots. And that's really where we are. It's between those two. It's, we've got to get those backs to the ball more. We know that. They know that. Um, it's being addressed. And I think everybody knows that. But with saying that, when you're not successful running it, you know, you can't keep banging your head against the wall. So you've got to find ways to run the ball and you've got to find ways to take shots, which every time you take a shot, that takes the ball away from one of those guys. Now, there's obviously some players out on the outside that we want to get the ball to as well. So finding that balance is really the key and the struggle for us that we've got to find. Coach, this is along the same lines on the offense. So it's kind of a process question. How much are you involved in offensive game plan? And it appears during the game you're somewhat disengaged with what's going on on that side of the ball. You, when the defense comes off the field, a lot of times you're over there while they're huddling up and get ready to go back on. How much are you involved, you know, kind of during the week about offensive strategy and then during the game? You know, I don't think that you have to get into specifics of exact amount of time, but there's not a play call that's called from the offensive side point, the side of the ball that I'm not hearing. So when we come over and see the defense, it's usually because there's a television timeout or something like that. But by the time the offense goes out, first thing I want to know is, hey, what are we starting with? Um, as far as the game planning, the offensive staff is uh, very intelligent, got a lot of experience, two coordinators on that side of the ball that have been there before and been coordinators. So I trust those guys and believe in those guys. And when they put the game plan together, that's more for me to come back and look at. And then when I look at the defense, I say, this is what I think they're giving you. This is where I think their weaknesses are. So I'm able to give them a second opinion. And that's the involvement that I have from that standpoint. But they, in, in the games, you know, I'm always involved in that. Not decide what to call, but what it's being called, I want to be abreast of and know.